Hello again. I'm back. And I was just very fortunate to create a painting with lots of wind blowing and bugs that usually fall into them and none of them did. And I want to do it again. And what I want to do is create... Oh, I don't want to use that in the bottom. I want to create a scoopable paint mixture like I just did. Only this time I'm going to put some more white in there. I'm just going to put all the colors in I put last time because they turned out pretty well. I think you can just basically understand that's all the colors. <laughs> that I want to float on top a little more. I think I have some different gold. I did put a little silicone in the last one and um, it made nice cells so I think I'm going to do that again. Use a little blaster. I'm just going to give it a little spritz. Like so. Now as I add paint as I may or may not have said before, I think I have. That's pearl. It's going to uh, sort of displace the silicone enough. I know this is really thick and I should mix it with something else, but I am counting on the other paint to thin it. <laughs> Call me optimistic. Sorry, I stopped talking. I'm probably way more aware of it than you are. I figured out to stop the music today, so I won't have any copyright issues, and that's nice. But you can't tell me I won't miss it, because I definitely miss it. I'll have to figure out somebody who wants to put soundtrack on my music that I actually like to listen to. And this horrible pink is a great color to mix with, even though I don't like it. <laughs> it creates contrast. I don't want to go too crazy here. Those are nice colors. At least from my angle they are. I think what I forgot so far is this lovely color shift green. Put a little bit of that. And some more of that turquoise. Let's pretend we can make a peacock. I don't have much dark purple. Nothing's blowing away yet. What else do I not have? I could always use, yep, a little bit of that everywhere. Do I have a bunch of gold? I do have a bunch of gold. I have that turquoise. I love this red. It's a magenta red, which means it's a lot more on the purple side when you finally get it where it's going. I think purple is a magic word. Let's use my favorite color that I started with by accident. This is a metallic version of that. I'm going to wish I used a much larger canvas. But anyway, at least you can see some of this probably while I do this. Now my idea is to do a half black, half white. And I, the black is failing. And I, I want the canvas wet because it just seems to make the puddle pour with the scoopable pour work that... Really? That's... You need to clean your tools off. <laughs> you can see why I say that. I thought that was right in the bucket last time. Oh well. You know what? We're going to have a whole lot of paint moving all over this very shortly. So I'm not going to let that worry me right now. I am. I'm going to use whatever's left on there with my other little spatula. I have three of these. They're all good. The round one is good. The flat one is good. The pointed one is good. I'm going to do a little bit more of that right here. And then I'm going to take my wet rag or, better yet, <laughs> take the rest of that off there. I didn't set my timer. I know better. I'm going to set it. I'll set it for 18 minutes and hope that we have that amount of time. And want this black go. We have ants. At least they're not love bugs flying into my paintings. I'm going to clean this white thing, white spatula off. Or clean the white paint off the white off the spatula. Yeah, I'm tongue-tied today. Never mind. I have just enough black paint left, at least out here, to do what I want to do. Maybe some of that will go in there too. I didn't put any yellow in there. I'd like to. I think an ant has decided it's the prime lunch. Okay. And there's still some white on there. But you know, nobody's perfect. I'm not stopping to do stuff now. Now, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to let that go right up to the edge of that white. Push it right in. Pull it right over. There's a big flow troll booger. 
Hi, Booga. Let's push some more of that in there. So we have no canvas showing. I'm not going to worry about the edges right now because I know better. Eventually, the edges, things happen to them. They get paint on them. Go away, Ant. I don't really want to waste any of that black since I don't seem to have very much of it. So I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to cover that end. Pat, 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 pat. Much more is there? I'm having a messy day. Okay, well, never mind. Everybody has a messy day painting with a fluid acrylics once in a while. I just like to use the paint I've got. I hate wasting paint. I say that a million times, I know, but most of my plans revolve around how can I do this with the least amount of paint possible, at least until recently. In the bucket. Clean the black off my hands. Alright, so. I want, this is a good color, and I'm going to take my spoon that I got rid of, no, 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 it's not in the bucket, oh no, I have another one, it's a little bigger than it should be, maybe I'll just skim the top of this, I said I was going to put yellow in there, and I am, so, here you go, there's my yellow. I'm going to take less is more, and I'm going to let that go around in a circle. And then, I'm just going to continuously make a puddle. But you know what? I'm noticing that, for some reason, I'm on level today. And that's going to help me out, I think. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I did this with like five of these circles last time, and I want to see what happens with just one. Please be some more black in there. And then be some white. And I did try and go like every other ring with the colors. Looks like I'll be doing another canvas of some kind very shortly. I'm gonna put some more of that that I like in there. I have to decide when to stop. It's hard to decide to stop. I wonder why my level, my my used to be level surface is on level. some other pretty colors here. That is making me crazy. Okay, let's find something else to put it up on. There we go. That's quite a bit of color. Sounds like it's raining again, but I suspect it's probably... Yep, that was thunder. <laughs> okay, that would be interesting. Let's just do this one more time. I don't want to drip. Anywhere else in the painting, I know that's kind of ridiculous because I'm using my spatula to knock the rest of that color out there. And I am going to knock the color off of this, put it in the bucket. And then I'm going to see what can happen now. Got an edge catcher, yep, standing by. I'm not overly enthusiastic about this so far, but the truth is I don't have to show you if I don't want to. And I can add colors after. I can add colors now. And I will. I'm not so sure about that green. I'm not always the biggest fan of that yellow, but I'm liking it right now. I thought this was going to be a good idea. I will see I can save anything. This might be the only thing I need to save. That is some not very attractive art. At least not for me. Alright, I'm just going to use my edge catcher. To catch some rolling paint. So much for not wasting my black. Not as horrible as it was a minute ago, but I'm still not very happy. <laughs> but fortunately, I have all kinds of stuff standing by, including another spoon somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab some colors we actually like and put them in there. 
you fix this up. Because ugly is just <laughs> unacceptable. I tend to change my mind once in a while. Sometimes I think things are ugly and then they don't turn out to be quite so bad. This is interesting down here, huh? Let's just see if we can fix it. So far, so good. See, some gold has turned to brown, and I'm, I've never seen it before, so. Got some neat cells coming. Just popping out of everywhere. Just gonna keep dragging, spooning and scooping. Well, the best thing I can tell you about metallics and pearls is the next day, sometimes things that were horrendous are actually very attractive. I think orange is the culprit here, but I'm not sure. We could swipe this and it'd probably turn out great. And weird things happen with my gold. is looking very bronzy. And I sort of avoid bronze. Gonna be a whole lot of paint here. Interesting. <laughs> the word I use for things I'm not sure how I feel about. Very interesting. I think I have some freezer paper, and if I move my colors that are in my way way and my tools. I may just dump some of this right there because I can. There's my edge catcher. Do I care about my edge catcher? I know you can't see. Sorry about that. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm dumping paint. might be cool. It might be better than it was. I bet we could dip something into that paint and it would turn out fantastic. I know there's some silicone in there. There. How about an agate? That's just me dumping. Oh well. It's got to happen sometimes, right? Let's take this. Made it over the edge. I got a lot of paint I can add my skewer to if I want to. I like that. I think we're going to try and uh, see what happens. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm happy. I got to get that heat gun working. <laughs> Trying to get a torch to go. Oh. Wow. That's stinky. Holy. Okay. Hey, we got a lot of nice cells in my torch stop, but that's okay because we got a lot of nice cells. And that's kind of pretty, and I actually really, really surprisingly like it. And I'm not going to worry about anything else that's there. I don't think I need to do anything else to that. Cool. Saved. Saved by the tip. Not even a swipe. Cool. I'm happy. I'm surprised, <laughs> but I'm happy. I mean, like, I'm really happy. Maybe if I take the straw to it, I can release a few more cells. But it's nice the way it is. Okay, well, don't be surprised if it changes, but right now I don't think it needs much. Have a wonderful day. Um, I'm relieved. And you can see pretty much all of that. Cool. See? Even people who know how to do this have those kind of days. Bye for now. I'll see you again.